Keratinization of the mucosal tissue in which the myobomian glands are embedded is a recognised pathophysiological feature of myobomian gland dysfunction and is best viewed with the aid of lysamine green dye. The keratinised tissue can serve to narrow the glands and occlude the orifices, restricting the flow of myobum to the preocular tear film. Removal of excess keratinization from the lid margin by debridement can improve the flow of oils, enhancing the tear film lipid layer and stability. For lid margin debridement, a drop of topical anaesthetic is applied to the ocular surface. This has minimal numbing effect on the eyelids, but helps patients to remain still, comfortably, and without blinking excessively during the procedure. Further anaesthetic is applied directly to the lid margin by dabbing with a pre-soaked cotton tip applicator to soften the keratinized tissue and aid removal. Lysamine green is subsequently reapplied to the lid margin area to clearly demark the areas affected by keratinization. Using an epithelial debridement tool or golf club spud, the excessive keratinized tissue is carefully scraped from the surface of the lid margin. This should peel away relatively easily to reveal smoother lid margin tissue below. Care should be taken to avoid attempting to debride areas of staining that are due to lid wiper epitheliopathy. Lid wiper damage is typically located on the lid margin's inner edge, while keratinized tissue suitable for debridement is located on the exposed surface of the lid margin.